good to see you again welcome back to my channel if you are meeting me for the very first time welcome my name is Lilian and right about now I'm here at the Kwame Nkrumah Museum on this note I welcome you to my youtube channel but of course if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back please everyone do wait to like this video and don't forget to leave your thought if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell and put it on the under says all so that anytime i drop a video you'll be notified all right this place have become one of the most visited places in ghana right now and we're gonna go in and see what it looks like right now this is not my first time here but this is certainly my first time since after the renovation so we're gonna go in and see the whole place and get to see the amount of people that visit this park on a daily basis how important this has become to the Ghanaian economy you are welcome to dr kwame nkrumah museum located here in the heart of accra ghana all right so let's walk in this is what the entrance looks like and also in this video i'm going to tell you what to expect like how much you're supposed to pay and all that um please don't forget to like the video so let's explore outside a little bit this is what the entrance looks like in fact by the roadside you can easily see this sign here that greets you all the way from the park and then um just take a look at the outside a little bit then we make our way in to the ticketing office by the time i got here i was thinking oh my god so i'm entering here for free little did i know that i was gonna pay <laughs> that is as a matter of fact so but all of this place uh this point uh you pay nothing until you make your way in all right so and i'm gonna take you guys through that there are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As that day goes by You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be Now this is what the reception area looks like Here you get to get your tickets to enable you get into the park so this was not here before what is not what i used to know like it's not what i know about this place at all the last time i came here which is in 2022 i think i paid um 10 cities because i was not uh, i'm not a Ghanaian, and then my Ghanaian friend paid about three ghana cities but now it's not like that anymore so what happened is after the renovation since the 11th of july uh you pay to assess the garden all right so in case you visited here before the 11th of the july of 2023 you may have entered for free but things have changed just so you know so if you are a foreigner which i am so i walked up to them and i made it clear oh i declared myself already a foreigner and they're like okay so i was going to pay 100 cities and then uh, if you are a foreigner but a student in ghana and but sorry you have to prove that with your id card so if you are a student in ghana you're expected to pay 60 ghana cities you guys more in this reception area before we go in so all the spots of the park if you don't want to pay is okay 
the only time you get to pay is when you want to assist the garden, which I was skeptical about paying because I feel like the money is too much. But um, because I want to go in there and bring you guys this video and also to see why exactly, I mean, what it looks like right now, because like I said, there was a time I wanted to visit. So that it was under renovation that time around somewhere around March of this year. So now that it's done, I feel like, okay, I'm already here. So let's go in and see. First, this is what the Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's car looks like right now. Before, it was somewhere inside the park. But right now, it is here at the reception area. A lot of things have really changed about this park right now. I think this is why it's attracting a lot of people, a lot of tourists right now. And... It's really um, good for the economy of Ghana. It's generating revenue to the country. All right. So what you do is you swipe your card and then you go in. So this is what it looks like inside. This was not here when I visited last year. Truth be told. So I can see the changes. Yeah, the trees were still the same. But a lot of things have really changed. And I'm taking you guys through that. This used to be a place that people just come solely to read history, practical history that you may never be able to get by reading a book about here, by reading a book about Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the African, the Pan-Africanist, you know, you may never um, get all that except you visit. So a lot of people visited for that reason but right now my observation is people are visiting not just for that but to take pictures hang out with friends and family because it looks really clean beautiful and just exciting to be in all right so i think there's a lesson or two here so people are willing to pay as much as 100 ghana cities to assess this place that's like eight to nine us dollar as the case may be as a change exchange rates may be but me if you ask me i'll just say you spend us dollars to assess and people are willing to pay that much to assess so that tells you something if africans can you know if our leaders are willing to make our continents great and have people from other continents queue have people pray and fast to get their visas approval to get um you know if africa can i mean that our leaders are willing we can achieve all that this place is a typical example of that in my own opinion i feel like people are willing they don't mind oh 100 cities okay they pay they go in and they're happy so if we, our continent is 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 um is worked on is our leaders can do something about it. Yeah, people are willing to queue up for the visas. People are willing to pray for the visas to come. People are willing to sell their properties to be able to move to Africa. People are willing to take loan to come to Africa because it's worth it. You see? So I hope that one day that will be that dream will come true. That thought was running through my mind the entire time. You know, I keep seeing people walking. By the time I came here, it was around around 12 o'clock thereabout. And that time of the day, and it's, it's on a weekday, not even weekend. So, and that time of the day is considered to be, you know, supposed this place is supposed to be dry because a lot of people are at work, their shops, their offices. It's just a site or different places, schools and all that. But yet, people are here. It shows you that if it shows you that if I had come here by weekend, it would have been a lot, you know, the crowd would have been more. As I was there, a lot of people were coming in, you know, different people from different parts of the world. But the one that caught my attention the most was the people that I saw, they are so beautiful in this traditional way. And I walked up to them, though I couldn't do it on camera. And I asked them, where are you guys from? And they said they're from, um, the kids didn't understand what I was saying. 
So I thought they're from Benin Republic because I'm not very familiar with the African flags around. So, but then I walked up to the elderly person among them and he said they are from Burkina Faso, a whole school from Burkina Faso. He is here. And they are not just the only people, set of people that I saw that are not from Ghana. I saw a lot of people coming here. You see, this is a good one, I must say. I know I have a request later in the video. Um, it's just a request that I want to make. I don't know who will be seeing this video, but I want to make that request, okay? All right, but then for now, let's keep going. Let us keep showing you around. They have done a great job. A great job when i came here last year what i wished for is that the fountain flow i seriously wish that the fountain flow if i can find that video i'm going to link it here so that you get to see what it looks like before and what it's actually looking like right now so when i came the water wasn't flowing it was kind of looking dirty i wasn't i was not impressed like why would this kind of place not be you know, well taken care of. But now I'm glad that the job have been done. The renovation have been done. A lot of things have been rebuilt and it is so amazing. Look at it. Students are coming here for excursion in and outside of Ghana. People are coming in for this all the way from different parts of the world. People are coming in. This shows you something. And I honestly, all the time, I won't forget to always no matter who don't feel good to hear that, to comment uh, Ghanaians for their well, for their good behavior. See, a lot of people may want to visit a country, but if, if they don't feel safe, <laughs> they won't come. Okay, and that is a problem to the economy of that country. Just look at how much they are um, generating just from here alone. In a day, a lot of people, a lot of foreigners, majority of the people visiting here are foreigners. You know that? 100 cities times, please do your calculation because there are a lot of people here and this is just on a weekday. And the time I came here was during dry hours. People are supposed to be at work, but people are here. People are willing to pay. You see? So if you comport yourself very well and allow peace to reign in your land, everybody will benefit from it. Trust me, the jobs creation will be there. Jobs opportunity will be there for the locals. Yeah, I could see people here planting, watering, um, trimming the flowers. People are selling something here. You know, people are just here doing one or two things cleaning the swimming the fountain you know taking care of the place these are all human that um generates income from here to put food on the table it is something and that is happening because the country is peaceful the country you don't need to see security here and there for you to feel safe it's just peaceful and that's it all right so a round of applause for you Ghanaians. again okay, keep it up Thank you. Shall we move? All right. So I wanted to go around as a matter of fact. I'm already here and I was not going to pay 100 cities and not go to every corner. Every corner I shall explore. So let's go to the other corner of the park. I just want to like, um, I just couldn't wait to go to the library behind because I was there last year and I was eager. I love it. It looks, it looks really beautiful. So I'm going to take you guys to that part and also to the resting place of our great leader, the former president of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It's not too late to win at the end. Kani mokola kabo wanyami train and hold on.
people already made their way here and they're just growing in numbers i'm only wondering what it will look like here on a sunday sunday happens to be that day that a lot of people have time to hang out with friends and family so i'm only wondering what it will look like i'm gonna come back here another time but i don't know when exactly to make the video the weekend version of this place to see what it looks like now this is a proof that people are willing to pay for your service i mean if you can give it to them the way they want it this place used to be three cities for Ghanaian at that last year that's 2022 and then 10 Ghana cities for foreigners but right now it is 100 cities for foreigners and people are not complaining so you see give people value for their money and they are ready to grab it so it's good i mean the tokwame is still bringing income to the government of ghana to the good people of ghana even in his own grief he's still bringing um income to the country at this point i'm eager to see what the garden i mean the library behind the museum itself inside looks like i'm eager to see because last year when i came that happens to be my favorite spot in the whole of the park so i'm wondering i can only imagine like what it looks like right now i can't wait for us to get to that part of the garden because i'm already here and i feel like I have to just go around it's a very big place when you stand one place and look it looks like okay it's it's small but you start to go around you realize it's quite big so but my goal is to go around every nook and corner of this garden let's do this so before we get to the other side i just want you guys to see how people are trooping in um every few minutes the crowd you know more people walked in just imagine what it looked like during weekend. It's a good thing, honestly. I honestly tried to protect everyone's privacy, but it was difficult because the more people come in, the more difficult it gets for you to try to, to avoid filming them. But it, it proves impossible. So this is not my fault, okay? So if you are the type that wants your privacy, you don't want any human being to see you on the on camera, hey, I don't think I would advise you to come here, except maybe during early hours of the day, you can quickly come here before other people make their way here because a lot of filming goes on in here people that i mean tourists want to take uh, videos of this place and send it to their friends and family show it to them back home so if you don't want to be caught on camera i'm sorry this place is not recommended for you and also if you are the type that wants to escape from the bustle the hustle and bustle of the city ah, this place is not calm at all but it's just beautiful to take pictures and then, of course, for the history, go inside the museum, get to see and learn, you know, impart knowledge. That's it. But if you want to relax, you want to chill, you don't want to hear any, any anybody, I mean, you don't want to hear any sound other than that of the beds, this place is not recommended, okay? So just so you will know. I don't know what else I think I should have said that I have not said. I think I've said everything that you need to know before you visit here. It's um, very peaceful, no problem, no case of anyone, oh, hold your phone well, hold your back well, no, it's not that type of place, and it's very accessible. From here, I had to, I walked, because I was trying to go via public transport, just so I can understand my environment very well, so it's not far at all, just a few minutes walk, I was already at Accra, there's a Mokola market. Okay, so let's go to the grief site and uh, view that, show you guys that little. Then I'll take you guys to my most anticipated parts of this museum. That's the back, the museum behind. I really want to see because it has this Egyptian style of building that you get to see. I think they built that in honor of the Tokwame's wife or Lit's wife. So I think they built that in her honor. 
or something. It looks really beautiful to me. It reminds me of all the um, the videos of the Egyptian, how Egypt uh, or Cairo, I don't know, looks like how Cairo or any part of Egypt looks like. So we're going to get to that part. All right. Stay busy, stay busy. I met a lot of people here. I think students from different parts of the world come here for to study one or two things. I met a lot of people that are Africans, that are not Ghanaian here, and they don't live in Ghana. They came purposely to visit this museum. This is amazing, as a matter of fact. So this is his resting place. At this point, I can see that no much work was done because it's not necessary. When I visited last year, it was looking like it's looking now. That's because everything is on point at the grave site. Everything is on point. It was well kept last year when I came and it's still the same. So the really place they, they, they put in the work is the fountain to make it uh, flow and also the reception area where they had the car parked now. Last day it wasn't there. Yeah, those things, um, it looks a lot um, cleaner than I saw the last time I came. Yeah, we're finally here at the library and this is definitely my most, my favorite part of this museum. So in here, you have the library, you have his personal effects, his clothing items, his um, chair, some of the things he used when he was still alive. A lot of people come here to study that, take note of them, but there was a warning sign here that says, no pictures inside the museum. All right, so with that being said, yours truly is not part of it because my number one purpose of coming here today is to film this video. So if I wasn't going to film, there was no point going in there. So, but it's one of those places I recommend you visit. If you have, if, especially if you're in Ghana, if you visit, use this opportunity and visit already okay to just you know give you a lot of understanding of the history of one of african greatest leader that ever lived so instead of you going and maybe later you may have to come back just visit okay highly recommended i had said earlier in the video that i had um i want to make a request i wish i wish i want to make a wish for me i feel like 100 cities is a lot yep is a lot, um, but I don't know. I'm, it's just a wish. So I wish that it can be reduced a little bit. A hundred cities. For me, I was like, you say waiting. You know, when I got there, <laughs> you say waiting. But thank God I had the money on me and I could afford it for today. But I feel like it's a lot, as a matter of fact. For students, it's still a lot. 60 cities. All right. This is my own honest, unbiased opinion and a request a wish all right so okay this place wasn't here when i visited last year new spot it wasn't here absolutely beautiful for photo for pictures and we have all of his photos frame all around here it is absolutely beautiful okay another design another uh, new thing that's put is uh, the way they, they decorate using trees to uh, make that inscription to write about the tree explaining. I think I picked some fruit thinking is there chair butter. So thank God I just went to Google and Google it <laughs> and I realized it's not chair butter. All right. So I talked about the people from all the way Burkina Faso to the neighboring, the neighboring country that are here for excursion. Man, these are the people. They are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. They are so pretty. Hmm? So out of respect, I couldn't, you know, film them like that. So I just uh, film briefly, but I think these people are really pretty. Just look at them. So I walked up to them to, because the adults were busy with pictures. So I walked up to some of the students 
unfortunately they don't speak english so i now walk to one elder i just i i took permission from one of the elderly person and he said they're from burkina faso all right good place um shall i read mm, there's nothing to read here mm -hmm. this place is on point just visit if you're in ghana highly highly recommended okay so i made my way back mind you once you make your way out that's it for the day you're not gonna go back in again except you are paying for it because the card you used to swipe is already written is it counts that you are in there so if you go in again it's going to count that another person have gone in and that is going to be difficult for the ticket attendant to explain so if you are done be sure you are done with the pack inside the pack before you make your way back to the reception because this is a point of exit for you if you're going to go back in you are going to pay new um ticket you're going to get a new ticket and you don't want that you don't want to spend 200 cities or maybe three and if your village people are after you, you spend like four times maybe you forget your phone then you go back again you forget <laughs> all right so this is a joke okay so but it's always um fair for you to be done be sure you're done before you make your way to the reception so i hope that i delivered and i hope that you will give this video a big thumbs up and that you will subscribe to my channel and you will turn on the bell notification and you will leave me your thoughts down there at the comment section okay I am not here to educate you entirely about when and how this garden was formed. I am here to show you what it looks like right now since after renovation. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I am hoping to see you again in my next one. Bye. Im Nebel heraus Bring dich wieder zurück nach Haus yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm, halt dich an mir fest